G'day guys, Quiet Penguin here, back for some more matchup analysis with my Molten Paladin deck. Uh, so we've got Ben Oracle back in the hot seat today, and he's playing some Shaman. Uh, so I'm pretty sure he's playing a Mech Shaman list, but he might be on like the old school Death Rattle. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but either way, we're on the play. And I'm actually going to mulligan a lot. Um, so when you're playing against Mech Shaman, they tend to flood the board and do a ton of damage really, really early. Um, so generally the way you can lose is like if they get a really quick start with the, um, the 3-2, uh, Wind Fury guy, I can't remember his name now, the, like, wee that guy, I'm sure he'll come up. Um, so generally you just really need to try and minimize the amount of damage that you take early, and the best way to do that in this deck is cards like Consecration, and cards like Equality plus Wild Pyromancer. And then you also really want to have something to heal you up afterwards, say like, oh, I don't know, an uh, anti-kill bot. Um, so this is a pretty good hand here, we're feeling pretty good. This feels like, alright, so he's going to coin out a knife juggler, so that's a pretty aggressive start. Um, we're just obviously just going to make a dude and pass here, it's another good draw and heal bot. Um, so these just make it less likely he's going to be able to burn us out with like a flurry of burn spells, so stuff like crackles, lava bursts, uh, lightning bolts. And rock bite a weapon. Alright, here we're just going to eat that divine shield and make another 1-1 one, one and pass. Um, so we do have the consecration next turn if he plays another good minion that we can get rid of. Mech Warper doesn't really qualify unless... Alright, Whirling Zappomatic, that's his name guys, Whirling Zappomatic. Whirling Zappomatic, Whirling Zappomatic, that's the name. Sorry, I, I forgot about that, guys. That's really bad on my part. Um, I don't normally forget names, but this time I did. All right, so Consecration here is pretty good overall. It doesn't kill the Mech Warper, but it does kill everything else, and it saves us a bucket load of life. So we saved us 3, 6, 9, 11, 12 life there. That's pretty sick, guys. And, of course, the Consecration bug is in full effect here. Guys, Blizzard, if you're watching, please fix this bug. Uh, I'm just going to heal up here. It's our most mana efficient play. Could have Peacekeeper there and made a dude, but it just doesn't, doesn't really scream value. I'm happy to heal up while we have the opportunity. Although him rolling the heal totem there kind of sucks. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm going to draw Consecration, apparently. Alright, so I'm going to gamble here that he hits a, a two health minion. Come on. Yeah, alright. Good gamble. Wasn't that big of a gamble, guys. I would have probably done it even if he hit like a, um, a minion with three or four health. Um, depending on what it was, we also had the opportunity to do equality there as well. So it wasn't as big of a gamble as it looked. Um, but either way, we get to finish off there by just making a 1-1. One, one. And at this point, guys, we're pretty much stabilized. We've got a full hand here. That's a really good top deck, though. Um, we've got a full hand here, and we've got a ton of heal left. So I'm, overall, I'm feeling pretty good about this one. But we shall see. So I'm going to bomb lobber this to finish it off. Um, if you get something really good, we're going to quality to just finish it off. And yes, I am going to quality that. Oh, am I? 1-7 is really not that impressive. He's got four cards left in hand. Problem is, if we don't do that, he's going to be able to build up a really, really nice board. We're not going to be able to get to it anyway, so that's why I'm going to do this. As wasteful as it seems. And I'm going to pass the turn. Um, so if I hadn't done that, if I just made another dude, he's going to be able to it's probably like eat a dude off there and wh whatever he plays, like if he plays another Whirling Zappomatic, I'm not going to forget that name anytime soon. If he plays another one of those or something, it's going to be really hard for me to get to. And if I can't get to it, I'm going to struggle to win, guys. So I'm just going to kill off that spell damage totem and drop a Tyrion Ford Ring. And pass. Now a lot of these Mech Shaman lists at the moment I don't believe are playing Hex. They're uh, pretty all in. Just because they need to make room for all those burn spells that they're playing. They can play up to 8 burn spells basically as I was talking to you guys uh, about it before. Um, so generally they don't have great answers to Tyrion. And as you can see here the Divine Shield's able to eat the first half of a Pile of Treader which is pretty sick. 
And he's forced to pass the turn, which I am A-OK -okay with. So here I'm just going to keep his board clear. I don't really need to threaten his life total yet. And I'm just going to heal basically all the way back up to 30. And draw a bucket load of cards. And here we've drawn some bombs. So we're going to be able to turn the clock, turn the corner really, really quickly here. Which is nice. And we've got a nice commanding board position too. We're actually ahead in life. How crazy is that? Um, it feels like he was rolling for spell damage totem there. And indeed he was. And he got it, so... Go him, RNG, be an oracle. How about that, guys? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. He's gotten... He's going to need it to win. He's going to need it. All right. Sylvanas is an all right draw. Here, I feel like the best, uh, the most threatening play that we can make is actually Dr. Boom. And I'm going to follow that up with an Acolyte of Pain simply because it's the most mana efficient play. And I'm just going to whack him in the face for five feel like we've turned that corner now guys it's time for him to start playing defensively and for us to play aggressively um, I've talked about this a little bit before in some of my previous videos about knowing when to turn the corner when to stop playing uh, reactively and when to start going for it and this is honestly one of those times and as you can see the fact that he had to use the weapon there to finish off the 7-1 is pretty sick for us and that's going to be no problem at all for us to deal with we can just peacekeeper it if we want to, or we can even just take five. I mean, we're at 23, stand to two cards in hand. We've got an extra eight life in hand. I'm pretty happy to just take five. Send a Boombot in. Let's see. What are you going to do, Boombot? Nothing. Good on you, Boombot. We can always rely on you. Um, could kill the spell damage totem here, or I could hit him for two. I'm actually going to kill off the spell damage totem. Um, just to really sort of apply as much pressure as I can. Um, basically, I feel like that applies more pressure because it means it's going to be harder for him to deal with our board, whether or not he has something like Lightning Storm or even just making him need to get the good RNG on his Crackles. And I don't feel like two damage is going to be particularly relevant here. I mean, at the moment, we've got 9-14 damage, so actually overkilling by 4 anyway. So I don't feel like the two damage there was particularly relevant. He's saying Doomsayer is his only out there. And an out's an out. And he didn't hit it. But see there, guys, that's just a classic point of really good play, is that being Oracle is able to find his outs and play to them. And it's really important to be able to do. As it turns out, he's decided to just commit semi-suicide there. And we'll put him out of his misery as quickly as we can with this Ashbringer. But that's the game there, guys. You've really got to mulligan hard for the uh, the early game removal, the Consecration, and the Wild Pyromancer plus a quality combo. Um, but if you do and you get the heal as well, you've got a really, really good chance against Shaman as long as they can't burn you out. Um, but thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.